You know, today's session is very important for me as it is for you. I said in the first of the two sessions today to the children and uh, myself, put myself in that category, and you might be wondering, why would I do such a thing? I'd start the very same way. From the book of Matthew, chapter 18, the first one, two, three, four verses. The, the apostles asked our Lord Jesus Christ, who is the greatest among you? And in the second verse, Jesus responded this way. Let me see who looked the lickless. Come, Bridget, come. <laughs> you know why you see look lickle, though? There's a time we are glad if you lickle. <laughs> a troubling him. You can't sit down, but no. Jesus found, took one of the little children and put in their midst and said, Whoever is converted and become as a little child. And let me give the exact way in the New Kingdom version. Whoever is not converted and become as a little child will not enter into the kingdom of heaven. But whoever is converted and become like one of these shall be the greatest in heaven. Just tell the person next to you, don't forget that you're a child. Oh, tell them again, man. Don't, don't forget. You might be a big child, but don't forget that you're a child. You see, it is kind of very hard for you when, when you break out of the prep school and the primary school where you are tired of being regarded as a child. And everybody wants to grow up and everybody wants to get bigger and everybody wants to see, as you know, that you're growing. But at the same time, legally, there are two age groups that make reference to when you're no longer a child. 18 for boys and 16 for girls. So we have those things as guidelines to determine. And then some persons say that you're not an adult until you reach age 21. And then some persons say, well, that is in this jurisdiction and it is in that jurisdiction. Because in some countries, children get married as early as 11. Yes. So... I just want you to know that today's discussion could be far to the left, far to the right, but it must be one thing. It must be honest. Because I respect your time, and I want you to also respect my time, and I respect Dr. David's time, the auntie's time, and everyone who has come together to be a part of this year today. You could start off by wondering, and I'm making eye contact as much as is possible. What is this all about? What is the purpose of this? I don't know my youth, because I'm outside, you know. I already see two youth, and I lose them interest already. But everything good. And, uh, you know, because it's all about can we help each other? I said to myself in every function that I attend, even if I'm a speaker, I want to learn something. You know why? Because when I go somewhere else, I will be more equipped. Because not only would I have to say what I said before, I would have learned from everybody else and then I have more to say your questions I have read all of them but before I go into your questions I want to first give you a charge and a reminder maybe I should do the latter first you're all into high schools let me see those who have already into the, the, the college state some are in university very good so let me start with the high school since we have more high school and university and college. And in the high school, unless you're just going to the high school, but I suspect I dealt with the just going to high school group already, you have already experienced some of the things that you never knew happened in high school. Like for one, the school was so big, coming from your little school. And your, some of your whole school is like one class. Yes, and you're accustomed to two, three teachers for those who went to the prep school, assigned to one group to keep you steady, and it's just one teacher, no per what, class, to keep all of you steady. You recognize that nobody don't try to find out your every move because you are expected to take care of yourself to some extent. Hold on, hold on, hold on. But in the high school, you would have recognized that you have one goal, and I hope that this group, minus of 
One who know was here this morning. Know what the, whole, the one single dege dege Jamaicans would say? Goal in the high school. One goal. It's not to dress up. It's not to be cute. It's not to wear the best clothes and wear your best clocks and no. It's one goal. If your plan is to take 10 C-sec, it's to pass all 10. Not 9. The plan is to pass what? All 10. For those who are planning to take 15, it's the past all what? 15. And those of you who stay like me, young lad, those six, it's the past year, six. The aim is never to impress anybody. The aim is to, but you know what? So many of you under my voice, you lose it along the line. Hey, them not like me. The teacher you not talk to me. I, don't, I can't stand this school. And you forget the goal. The one and only dege dege goal is the password. All of C sec, CXC, and then they move to what? To care. That's the goal. So why is it that school is not fun? Why is it that all they get in con with all of these controversy? Why is it they get caught up with all as Jamaicans will say drama? What is it all about? It has nothing to do with maths, English, accounts. Sciences on what computer science and they're teaching IT, yes, yeah, same thing as computer science and law. No, but irrespective of that, why is it that you have so much controversy? Let me see the hands of those who don't bother you know the high school about your dressing. Come on, be honest you now. We're gonna have an honest discussion. Yes, them bother you know the high school and say you're not dressed good. Your clothes all up, all up. <laughs> Let me see down the body about your shoes. No, hold on, hold on. You notice? Hold on, hold on. No. There are some who say, no, not me. I didn't ask you. If you know, so your parents are taking care of you and your clothes up to the time, it's fine. I'm talking about some of us. For some reason, I'm just fine fault in our uniform. You raise your hand again, Mr. Dan. Show them, say them have problem with uniform. Mr. Hans all the way around the back. Good. It doesn't matter what you wear. People always find what? Fall. Right now, where you have a no, somebody in here have fault with it. As much as you feel like you're hot and you look good. All this a pink something here. Everybody on the back have a problem with that. But whether they want to have a problem with it or not, it has nothing to do with what is happening in your heart. In your head. The boys, them, I don't know what's going on. Well, maybe they say, boy, minister, you don't have much better. The tight pants, them. <laughs> I'm maga, me, maga. If I take up my belt, this jump off of me. You understand? <laughs> but whether your pants tight or dropping off for you or not, is what is going on where? In your head. But I can't seem, listen, listen, I can't seem to get that. Everywhere I go, I go the length and breadth of Jamaica. And all I'm trying to do is to get it into everybody's head. I don't care what you wear. I don't care where you live. I don't care if you come to school in a fancy car, take bus or walk. I don't care. All I want to know is what is happening what? In your head. Because you know what I said to those, even my sons? I said, if you go to school in a car, I not live forever and drive car now. So you must be able to learn. And learn I mean to go work for nobody. You could start your own business. So that you will be able to earn from your business or working to buy your own what? Car. So that you can drive. And if a if car cut out them time, everybody will fly, then who are we going to fly? But the point I'm trying to make is that you need to understand it has nothing to do with your outward what? I don't want to start praying. It has nothing to do with your outward appearance. It has to do with what is happening on the inside. Now, one second point. Now, you're the adult group, you know. You're the big people group. The next thing is this. Some of you are ashamed. I'm just going to put everything in this one group. Some of you are ashamed of one where you live. Be sure, me know about that. I never say all of you, Master. Some of you. Some of you are not so proud of your parents' background. Some of you try to hide it. Some of you know that you can't say my father, doctor, have a hush up. 
can't see my mother lawyer for just keep quiet when people them think they're talking to us. You understand? But it doesn't matter. Listen. It doesn't matter what your parents do. You know what is the question we're asking? What are you planning to do? You're not hearing me. The question is not about what your parents do, what your family do. No, I'm doing a wide discussion, you know. Because in speaking with the troubled children, thank God I don't have no troubled children inside here. The troubled children, where are the troubled children? Them get in the kind of fight, where I meet them? At the remand center. And I, re -meet, and I meet the girls, them down camp road. So the girls that camp road, this group, teenagers, and just be about 20, yes, I meet them at camp road. All kind of trouble them, you know, we're going to talk about that. The boys in the remand center, over Rima side, all kind of trouble them, you know. So I know the group that fall black to the ground, to the bottom, when nobody not talking about. So I'm speaking to you from the problems that they will have. They were in church like this. They were in high schools like the high school that some of you are in. Some are in fancy neighborhood, meaning them come from the upper St. Andrew, and some come from out of the ghetto like me. But it doesn't matter. Once them fall into trouble, where them end up? The girls there at Camp Road and the boys there of Arima. No, you are not going to end up of Arima. Are you not going to Camp Road? You are not going to make the mistake that they have what? Made. No, you're not going to make it. But the next thing that is in that same second group is that some did not make the mistake. So how them end up? The person sitting beside them made the mistake. And when the police come to scoop them up, they say, show me a company. And then no parents are trying to say, my son never do this. My daughter never do this. But something has happened and them scoop up what? Everybody. And what do you hear your parents them say how oh, many times? Come on, me I talk to them from the bottom of my heart. The good suffer for the bad. So I'm not going to leave here today and go through the door and pretty it up and don't give you the opportunity to ask me real questions and I provide to you real answers. But we have to level this foundation so that when we're leaving, all of us are on a level platform. Now, here me starting. Everybody in power of faith, especially my, my church, my home church, know my testimony. They don't know it on the outside. Dr. Davis told you a while ago, I would say it in great humility, that people would put me in first class and ship me off, fly me off, all over. For me to say the very same thing, they said, we want you to come and talk to them because what we hear of you in Jamaica, we don't like to come and tell them people for it, so that they understand it is not where you are from, it is where you are going. Why is that so? Because when, when they hear that, my father dead for me a tree. He never does fall sick, them kill him. My mother working at a, a cape in the kitchen. You know the testimony. They say, how is it that you move from there to there? And I say, it was not easy. I said, the first hurdle I had to get over is that I am not perfect. The first hurdle. Because I fail and fail and fail. But I learned that failing is the first attempt in learning. First attempt in learning. You use that as an acronym. It means that I wasn't good at the point of the testing. So I had to get what? Better. And I got better by putting in what? The work. No, for me, you know what that meant? I had to lose friends. And I think because of that, until today, I really don't, I know a lot of people, but I don't have a lot of friends. Why? Because I spend a lot of time reading. I had to change everything that I do and start spending time in the book. You know, what, you know what I realized? Because those who were passing, they were spending a lot of time in the what? book. And it makes sense. If you don't have nothing to do with book, don't you ever pass where you're not know the book. And they are spending a lot of time with books, so it was natural for them. So I learned from the bright people. I always try to keep company with people who can help me. So I get over that hurdle. The next hurdle, as much as I am over this hurdle, hold on, and as much as I am far away from this hurdle, this hurdle somewhat keep coming up behind me. Me jump over it and me run like lightning. And the hurdle is still there behind me. You know why? Because until today, 
The people in Jamaica can't even speak about overseas. They have not yet accepted that this little Rima boy can hold a position in a government. No, they don't accept it. So it means that there are some people who will always look down on you. You will never be too good for them. You will never be bright enough for them. Because even when you pass every exam, you're bright like bulb. You know what I'm saying? Go along there, because so and so that after that. Go on there, so and so Sunday. But that will not discourage you. That will never, ever, 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 ever discourage anybody in this room. Am I speaking the truth? Yeah. So therefore, having said that to you, you will realize, sir, that your future, basketball or not, football or not, cricket or not, is in your hand. Tight pants, loose pants, whatever, is in your hand. Pink ear or no pink ear. Jerry curls, no jerry curls. Eyeglass or no eyeglass. It is in your hands. But you know what now? Some of you don't know how to handle the precious gift that you have in your life. He said, if I could call these adults and ask them, if I call all your parents, maybe we should have a parents there, and ask them, how many would want to relive your life? Almost every single one of them would have said, would I want to relive my life. You know why? They will be focusing on the mistakes that they what? Made. And trying their best what? To fix it or to make sure that they never make that mistake again. I tell you, I will keep it real, don't it? You see me? I was my mother's mistake, you know. I, I was my mother, probably the biggest mistake, because she got pregnant when she was 15. She had me when she was 16, yes. Oh, yes. But even mistakes, God can take and make something good of it. No, I say that to say that some of you have made many mistakes and I reached no way yet. You have given a number of problems and I reached no way yet. But you know what you can do? You can stop. Must I say that again? Some of you are on the verge, let me change up my words, of making the mistake that my mother made. Some of you, if you're not turn maybe out today, you will end up making what? The same mistake that my mother made. Out of love. She was in love with the cooler man. Love. She loved the little cooler man. She loved him. The cool man needs it to love him. And him pretty and she love him. And she can't do nothing with the little straight nose cool man. She love him. <laughs> if you were to talk to my mother until today, would you talk about him? You know, what you mean? Michael's father? Our, our, our words change. Because she love the cool man. <laughs> but the cool man landed her in Victoria. Jubilee Hospital. When she should be finishing high school, my mother was in where? Victoria Jubilee Hospital having me. So what did Cooleman do? Cooleman continued being Cooleman. Because he had five pitney and none of we have the same mother. Cool man up. Bum, 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 bum. <laughs> cool man up. Shut down the place. The man a hot stepper, then the man a cute. Hot boy in the place and him a in the mouth sweet. And him have a pocket full of cash and a tank full of gas. Anyway, I'm going to drive. Go. You better listen to me well. Listen to me well. I, I, I am not just talking about mistakes, you know. Ladies and gentlemen. I am telling you, I'm, I, 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 I want to say I'm proud to say this. But it's a reality. I'm a product of a mistake. Yes. And I am saying to you, my mother had it hard. Hard, hard, hard. I mean, that's not the testimony today. 
That's not even what I want to say today. I am saying you don't have to make that what? Mistake. Love can wait. Yeah. Come on, tell somebody love can wait. Tell them again, love can wait. Tell somebody else, love can wait. Um, can, can the ladies them just fun off the board and say, hey boy, love can wait. Come on, ladies, tell them for me, say, hey, hey, love can wait. All right. Can I get the boys them to say, hey, hey, my girl, love can wait. Watch your, watch your, see now. He must say, no, me can't say that. You know the truth about it. Hold on, you know the truth about it. Hear the truth about it. They, 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 Jamaica operate in such a way. And I think, they, I think overseas in many parts of the world. That when this so happened, it's only the girl alone is in the picture. We never normally see the girl drop out of school, but the boy is allowed to continue in school. But anyhow, we're not going to go there because we see the argument already. But we don't have to reach that point. I'm going to take one more minute. And then I say the next point and I will open up the question and answer. I was in a graduation. Hold on. Can you imagine you know your minister don't hold back? And in this fancy high school, I can't call the name. Yeah. High school graduation. And in my graduation address as guest speaker, I said, you know, I want to talk to all the girls. Because some of them say, you soon breed. <laughs> I don't know who got them say. They said, me only here. Huh? <laughs> so I had to say, hold on there. You can't answer breed up here. All right? Pregnant. <laughs> and then I had to make it very clear to the girls. And say, anytime, and I'm going to say in the same words I said in that high school. And it almost make all the parents them run me down and beat me. I said, hold on, let me finish. <laughs> and I said, girls, anytime anybody said to you that you're going to be, you're going to breed. I saw them always throw word on your school. You talk to one boy, you soon breed. No, 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 go so. I say, anytime I say that to you, tell them, say, yes, I don't come here for. <laughs> and I say, some parents look for me like them and say, never stone him. I say, hold on. I say, but you go and wait until you finish high school. You are going to wait until you go sixth form if you want to go to sixth form. So when you've done all the seasick and you get all the cape, and we say, you're going wait till you go to university, whether you want to go to university in Jamaica or in the US or Canada, you pick where you want to go. And you're going to wait till you get to BSc. And you're going to wait till you get your MBA. And you're going to wait till you do your PhD, if you so desire to do a PhD. And you're going to wait. Till you find the right Christian boyfriend. Yeah. We come power of it. Yeah. You yeah, go wait. Hold on. I said when you wait, if you have degree, you better have degree too. Yeah. Tell them no don't run here. No, here. If you have your masters, you must have your masters too. And if you have PhD, tell him with the attitude. If you have PhD, too. Hold on. You want me to preach? Do not be unequally you. So if you are, if you are a born again believer, he has to be a born again believer. You must be believing at the Father, at the Son. Come on, you're preaching right. You're preaching right. So, he must to be a child of God. He must to make sure, say, he must wait to, because he can't say, he must wait for you and have Jackie and Jishi and everybody, you know. No. Anyway, I soon, boys, I soon come. So, no, let me finish the testimony. I said, no, you have your BSc, you have your 
MBA, you have your PhD, and you are born again. Tell him, say, I shall wait till him put on the liquor ring. Yeah. And him have to come meet pastor. Yeah. And we have to put on the liquor ring in a church. Yeah. And power feet have camera, YouTube, where everybody everywhere yeah. can see my bend down yeah. and put on the ring. Don't it? And when he put a ring, tell him, say, Master, when I done it, we have to wait because you have to come with a bigger ring. Yeah. When he put on the bigger ring in front of Bishop or any other marriage officer, in front of two witness, and no matter how much wickedness you want, it. But once he put on the big ring after you get the liquor ring, and then you still are weird, come up a girl in the back, go sign the paper, and the pastor come and give you the receipt, and say, Are you a man now? Then you go do it. But because that is the right order. Ladies, that is the right gentleman, that's the right order. What some people are doing now, them go to the end. Quick, quick. Michael, we have relationships. <laughs> and anything we get hot, quick, cool, quick. Yes. So you run down the end and then go get. Yes or no? How you reach there, sir? How, how, you, how, how we arrive right here? How, how somebody did feel. When you feel like that, take Fenzik or Panadol when you feel so. Take some cold medicine. Now listen to me. Your future is not to be played with. Some of the mistakes that we make, it takes 10 years, now listen to me, it takes 10 years to correct some mistakes. 10. And some take 15 to correct. And some are very difficult to correct. I wouldn't say can't, because with Christ, all things are possible but some require great effort now at your level at your age the greatest goal for you right now is to humble yourself and accomplish the things that you are to accomplish at this age don't 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 run down the world don't run it's going nowhere as a matter of fact, I have, I have made this assessment. Hold on. I have made this assessment about the world, in my own opinion. That some of the things that you are running down right now, in a few years' time, they will be obsolete. I say that again. In a few years' time, they will become obsolete. They will not even be relevant. Right, let, me, let me just demonstrate this. And this might be... Maybe, maybe too old for some of you. Give me the, the name of the, the, one of the nightclubs. Maybe, maybe the older ones can help me. That is, that is what name? Taboo. Taboo a go go. Taboo is not nightclub. All right. Then, then play some of the dance hall then. Dance hall club. Give me, give me one of the. They have one over here named Famous. What name? Make up. All right. How long that make? Anyhow, hold on. Ask anybody, ask the parents, that the hottest, hold on, the so-called hottest nightclubs no longer exist because of how they were built. They don't build them like that anymore. Not because of my name. The, the, the hottest one was called Mirage. Not Mirage, you know. M-I-R-A-G-E. You know why we said that? It was at Sovereign. They placed, they built it with television on the ground. You could walk on them. And it said, you could just see yourself all over. This massive one part of Sovereign that is underground. That's where it was. Ask anybody. It was owned by a company called Home Electrics, if I'm correct. But no, most people never know. It's when the company went under. This massive nightclub. You could never go inside there if it's just a certain way. You're not allowed. 
If you wear sneakers, you have to pay two to three times the price just because they're sneakers. They say you have to be properly dressed. No, the point I'm trying to make, that clothes. And before that, there was, what is it, Madhouse, Asylum. And then you had Cactus over Portmore. That was the biggest in the whole of St. Catherine. No, I say all of that to say this. They close. So even those who are running them down and say, I have to go, I have to go, I have to go. They close. And even those that exist today, they are going to close too. And then somebody's going to come with something else. So what I'm saying to you, I'm not telling you to go to close. I'm just saying what, you, what some people are running after. It's like wind. It's here today and it what? Gone tomorrow. So what I want you to get is a solid foundation. Okay. I'm at the point for question. Minister, prove that. And then we we'll start the question. And this is mainly towards the boys. It's when I'm studying and I'm jumping into the love again. It's when I'm studying, everybody say, something wrong with me. I mean, something wrong with me. Say, I don't mean a straight. God, I'm saying, minister, when I'm saying, Michael, ain't no one a girlfriend. I'm saying, a girlfriend. I'm saying, why? I'm saying, because she want an shall, foot shall. In them days, the eyelash shall, hair shall, and I shall keep my money. <laughs> I don't even have money to buy bun and cheese. What could I on earth want a girlfriend for? To do what? I don't want a girlfriend. I said, no, I don't want a boyfriend neither. <laughs> what I'm saying to you, I learned for a long time to stay in my lane. I learned to what? Stay in my lane. So when everybody are called to some girl, hi, hi, hi. Hey, me have some friends, you know. The mom always are called to this pretty girl. And the girl turn them down like embassy. Trust me, I tell them. <laughs> she done them. So I always say to myself, so listen man, just, 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 just take your book. So the point I'm making, I'm going to the question. I learned to stay in my lane. One of my friends was talking up in motor. I said, let me show you something. Yeah. We are going to go down to, we said, which club you want to go? In terms of wanted to go to asylum. I said, we are going down there. Yeah, it was an art club at New Kingston where, where, where me and Chris Gale by Anton a century. And he didn't change again now. So it's a century now work again. <laughs> Every time something new happens, it, it ends and somebody comes with something else. And so where you want to go? And they tell me the club. I say, all right, later, a drive come. I'm just telling this out of humility. So I drive the Benz. I pop off the top. I'm convertible. So I pop off the top and say, we're a guard club. So we reach up at the club. I mean, you know, bookman. Take off the glass. I mean, I really wear glass. Then so must wear it. So I say, we're go down there I'll show you something. And we reach down there and drive up. Then move the bar. And I mean, they move the bar for you, because they don't know me. Where they move the bar for? The car. And they move the bar, and the line long gone down Nutsworth Boulevard. And I walk come up, and put on a band for the theme on. Why? They don't need a band for me. I mean, drive the car. I give them the key for park it. Where they do the thief it? I go inside, and they bring alcohol, come give me for drink. Why? They might give me alcohol for drink, and him have to buy. Because I mean, drive the car. So I teach my lesson. I say, you spend your time running off of the world. I say, I spend my time trying to get something in this world. I say, notice how the old world treated you and treated me. You go dance almost every night. Me and your friend from back in the days. And I try to teach you something. We drive, go down there. Then give me a parking space. You know what him asked me? He said, Minister, well, not Minister, then. Michael, where you drive the way? I say, oh. Those who live from downtown drive, come up. And those who live uptown drive, come down. So I'm going to pick him up downtown. I'm going to drive, go around and come down. And when we come down, I will park. And I teach him, I'm inside him. I say, oh, I swear I say no. I say, yes, and that's the point I try to make. I say, you and I go to the same school. You are brighter than me in school. You are considered like A plus. When me are butter C. And you know I've taken that. Where you have in your head. And instead of capitalize on it, instead of you just try to do the right thing, you try to make a little money and keep you here, a little dear. I'm saying, you have the ability. No. I'm where I want you to be. You see, this thing about girlfriend and boyfriend is not to be taken lightly. 
Now, some people say dating and courting. There's a big distinction wide like us. You can't date anybody. You can't carry out all your dog on a date. You can't carry your puss on a date. Because I mean, any day you walk with a puss, you must have a date. Was it August 26th, August 27th? That's, that's the date. Anything you do, you do it. And we can record the date. They come at church, a date. On a church date. But courting is different. Because you have to run down the court, right around the court, roll upon the court, jump upon the court, crawl upon the court. Yeah, there's a big difference. There is a difference. Because courting involves a little touching, a little cuddling. You scratch my back, and I scratch yours. Ladies, you must develop a karate move. Anybody scratch your back, you must go soft. <laughs> Till it becomes natural. So when you marry and have your husband, you say, be careful when you touch my back, because I have a elbow coming. Point I'm trying to make. Most of you can't tell the difference, like my mother. Boy, my mother, pay a price today. Love. If my mother ever come and talk today, maybe Dr. Davis have to tell her, come, go on. Because she would have just drop it hot. My mother could not tell the difference between dating and courting. And she paid what? But love is not dating and it's not what? Courting. So can I show you love without dating you? All right. Can I show you love without courting you? Yes. But are you willing? Yes. You see, it's easy to say yes, you know. <laughs> but are you willing to show love without dating, love without courting, love without touching? You see, all of these things have to do with what? Time. A time of the problem, you know. There is a time that all of you inside here so will be legal when none of we can tell you nothing. Not that we can't tell you no. <laughs> We're just trying to encourage you to do what? Yeah. Right thing. But there's going to come a time when you, according to the word of God, work out your own. Not that you can't work it out. No. We're just encouraging you to do what? Right thing. When you have to decide to yourself, what kind, come now, gentlemen, your time. What kind of lady I want? Now, ladies, let me tell you something. Gentlemen, I'm going to ask in the black shirt, come. Yes, sir. You first. I'm going to ask them two right here, sir. You, yes, sir. A hot time now, you know. Come on, come on. You can't hide out the thing. And a red shirt, come on, come. Tell him to come. Come on. Walk up, man. Jump through, man. Jump through, man. You can't shy out the thing, you know. Can't shy out the thing. Come. Can't shy out the thing. Why? 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 All right, come. Come. Now, now hear this now. Ladies and gentlemen. Well, I'm not going to be shame about it. My man tell you something. One thing we want to do. The whole truth, nothing but the truth. No, listen to me. But why you tell me the whole truth? All right. Come on. Stand up, man. You see Marsha already? You see we are playing marble. Hold on, hold on. All right. All right. My brother is black, come to. Yeah, man. I am too. Come on. Yeah, man. Ima come and, and add, a, add a virgin right there, so see that to well, honor him out. Yeah, man. Come on. Yes, man. Yes, man. No, man. You have to come to, man. Thank you for coming. But I want to be honest. I want to be honest. Never ask you the question. Hold on, man. Ah, thank you, sir. Ladies and gentlemen, hold on a man. Hear the question now. When in marble, 
When we are playing marble, they have two classifications for marble. Marble, yeah, we used to play marble. We don't want to play marble anymore. But when you used to play marble in the dirt and rare area, play tablets on the play now. Hold on, hold on. Is it a new marble? The Norman. The big one named Bembe. Is it, but is it when the marble new? Them call it preps. You hear me say? Preps. And it's when the marble, we to play with long time and then lick up, lick up. It, it dent up and chip up, chip up. Them call it rocks. Can we, can we keep it real? Yes. It's the girl that were nice and cutie cutie. We as boys call them preps. Let me say the hands of the preps them in the place. A lie. Let me say the girls that we are preps. Some ask again. All right, let me find out. Thank you, my wife, for waving your hand. You see the girl that we chip up, chip up, and bounce about, them are rocks. Let me see the hands of the rocks them in the house. Well, if the lady wave her hand and say she has rocks, we can't do nothing about that. So let me ask one more time. Can I see the hands of the preps? All right. Some girls say them not for the one cause whether or not. Fine. Listen to me. You see this? Hold on. Bridget. Hear the response. It is serious. It is so serious that you're going to hear from the males. It's a simple answer. If you had a choice, and there are two girls standing right here before you. The one on the left, this left, my left, your right, left, right or so. She is sexy. Hey, what was it? What was it, Jerry? Sexy. She's so sexy that when you see her, you say, Atta Daniel, where no man can find. From <laughs> She is so sexy. When you see her, you say, pressure them, baby, pressure them with your cute baby face. Mad them. Oh, you so pretty, every man that asks questions. What you want for you would want for no kind of lotion. You're not bleach and have a pretty complexion. They get me ticket, mate, she get the wrong bang. Voila, voila. She's so, she's so sexy. And and she have money and she in a big job over here so but she's a rocks but she's a rocks and the one over here so preps working hard through the university doing everything she must do she's not in a big job but she push herself hard rocks with money preps Big job, rocks. Little job, preps. Millionaire, rocks. A few dollars, preps. Shh. Oh, you want? Me, I'm a nun, that's a rocks. Be honest. No, I want simple answer. You want the rocks? Come on. Right, go on the rocks, son. Go on the rocks, side. Well, no, you can't get a reason. You can't get a reason. Preps are rocks. Not the truth. Preps. All right, go on the preps, side. Preps, preps. Preps. All right, go on the preps, side. Rocks. Go on the rocks, side. Yeah, come on the rock side. Eh? Rocks. All right. All right. Hold on. Oh, one man walk up. Come and ask him a question. Come. Rocks are preps. I want rocks, man. I'll kill you. Wait a rocks? Okay. So you're saying, hold on, ladies. No, I did not plan this. 
I am letting the chips fall where they must fall. So if we're doing a, a statistics, no, you can't change. I want the man have a problem and have more problem. You say you want rocks for your money and you're going to want preps. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Stay up your side. Ladies. Ladies. Hold on. What we are seeing here is that I placed together a combination that made it very hard for them to decide either way. Gentlemen said, want to explain. I said, no. I, I, yeah, a rocks or a preps is it. The rocks, as I call it, not in a derogatory, but that's how we used to play marble. Once you chip up, chip up, we said a marble have been about playing what? A whole lot. But the rocks have money, the rocks have big job, and he said I prefer the rocks. But the preps, who is. No, the, the preps never roll out yet. Brand new. Oh, so let me put it in context. The, 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 we are trying to say the girl that has been out there running around is on this side. And the girl that is trying to live her life decent. Carrying herself decent. Meaning, going according to the word of God. Trying to come up the normal and natural way. Trying to live her life in accordance to the word of God. Who would like to be married first? Before she get into X, Y, Z. And will not do anything. And she's trying. No, not everybody's perfect. I'm just using this. Four out of six of my brethren them say. With one way I try to change I know. Me will prefer take. The lady very experienced out the road and have money. While only two of the six. Is saying boy. I will choose the girl that is trying to live her life right way. I will, try, I will prefer a girl that is living her life in accordance to the word of God. Put your hands together for our bridge in there. Now you talk of God. <laughs> no. Put your hands together for them, man. Better than that, man. Better than that. Question time. Hold on, this is the comment, and then we go to question. I'm being honest with you. I am leaving with this information today. Armed to the T for my next presentation. Wherever that is going to be. Because what I learned here today, you better believe we ask for it to come from a truthful place. And I can tell you, ladies and gentlemen, that there is some correlation with what the boys have said that is actually happening. Yeah. Yeah. I'm being honest with you, there is a lot of correlation. And as a result of that, many of the girls who are living them life, like oh, I just classed it a while ago, preps, are saying, boy, because nobody don't really like me, and nobody don't want me, I better me just. They are rocks. All right, minister, drop it now. And then we could talk about it. Plenty of the girls who are going into high school and university, they are going in virgin. When they reach, hold on, a serious, especially university, they laugh at them. Laugh at them and say, at this age, you still don't know the man yet, sister? And then some of them, hold on, just because they want to get rid of that, that precious thing that they should be keeping. They just run and go and sleep with just about anybody. Because they want to fit in. Somebody say, mash down that light. We are not looking down on anybody. To say that you are preps are rocks. No. I only use that analogy to show you how the world look at you. And the world can put you in one corner or put you in a what? Another corner. But at the end of the day, you better have sense and know that whether you're in a corner or not, then what? Put you in one. But you have something to do about it. You have something to do because the future is still what? 
in your hands. And you can turn things the way how God have it for you. You have a role to play. God can just rule it out for you, sir. And you don't walk on it. He prepares the way, but you have to what? Walk on it. He just rule it out in our walk. You have to be prepared to walk it. All right. So let me talk. Let me take two other questions. And one from this side. And one from this side. And we'll go in that order. What is your idea of love? A statement or a question? What is your idea of love? Anybody? It's a big question. But are them big things that people are going on? Yeah, what is your idea of love? Because all you say in love. Then tell me about you know, what makes you in love. Come on, I have your list of questions. But I want to hear you answer. How do I know that I'm in love? How do you know that you're in love? Come on, my have to run, come quick enough. Come, come, come. How do you know that you're in love? Every time I point on someone, I look behind them. Um, love is something that you realize is a part of you. So no matter how angry you are as a person, you still have your best interest at heart. That is it. All right. So in Philippians chapter 2 and verse 4, and say, Do nothing out of selfish ambition or conceit. But in lowliness of mind, let each esteem others better than themselves. Do not look out only for your own self-interest, but for the interests of others. That's what he just said. When you are able to demonstrate love, and John 15 tells us there is no greater love than this, so one to lay down one life for his friend. When you look out for other people, that is demonstrating love. What is your idea of love? His idea of love is to sacrifice what he might want so that somebody else could get what they want. That's a good example of love. What is your idea of love? Come on, man, talk to me. Talk to me. Let me raise up your questions then. Why after breaking up, you get more attached to the person and still have feelings for them? Whoa, I love it. I hold my hands. Go up. Way up. Come. All of you. Come. Come. Your hands and her. Come, the man. Why after breaking up, you are more attached? Okay. You wave your hand and you want to say something. Guy, by the way, if the man no wants to say nothing. Okay, so I don't believe it's more attached, but I believe it's the sense of loneliness because sometimes some persons are not actually used to being alone. Like, they don't find themselves, they don't be happy by, by being, like, you being single, you just can't be happy. So I wouldn't say you're necessarily attached to the person, but you're attached to what the person has to offer in a sense. That's my, that's my why will it more questions you raise? <laughs> so you're not attached to the person, no. we're attached to what them offer. Yeah. Then lady like answer with them offer. Alright, alright, alright. Now come you back to you. Miss say. Now. But she raised a come, come, come. Come, come quick, come. Yes, man, you understand. Come quick, 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 quick. Come on, shh. You know how long it takes to make sure come? Shh. You can't tell the mask because you can see. Um, um, I think you were saying sometimes it's a loneliness. And sometimes, um, for example, like you're dealing with a person and then the person, for example, you said leave or break up or what you want to call it. Um, sometimes you don't, it's like, so for most people, it's like they don't understand what they lost until it's actually gone. So sometimes, them, for example, they want to talk to the person, they want to say, oh, they don't need something with that. And they ignore what was actually there before that they couldn't appreciate. 
and the only person God knows, and you know, look back on all that other person you know, that was near, or whatever you want to say, you know, you know what to say, the person is this, and the person is that, and I didn't appreciate for a person that, but, um, when they were there, and they know that they are gone, you know, but you know, kind of like they are all right, put your hands together. For when you're in love with someone, it's not just a symbol. When you're in love with someone, it's not just a simple thing that you can just throw away. When you find someone that you think you love, to create that almost unbreakable bond. Meaning that if you, if you leave that person in the end, your soul are spiritually tied to that person. No, no, no. It is. Some people are different. They might not feel that way because they say that they don't want to feel or just go into it for sexual pleasure, but in the end, your soul is tied and some part of it is with that person. So in the end, after you leave that person for a while, you find yourself even thinking about that person find someone else in my head. You can't really be free. So you have to be free of that one year. Well said. So let, let us let us put the three points. Where 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 the other question? There was another hand. Alright. She come, come, come quick, quick. Come quick the man. In the meantime, while she's coming, let us put the points together it started off hold on with loneliness because you feel the need to be loved by someone now let me tell you the truth they have said it in many 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 reports many surveys questionnaires and other information gathering tools that plenty of people are in the company, I just use the word company, relationship with many others for one reason only. They just don't want to be by themselves. That's a poor choice though. That's a very, I mean, among the choices that are poor, that's supposed to be among the poorest ones. That you are with someone just because you don't want to be by yourself. And what, the, what um, our brother said, come in, what our brother said a while ago is that, you know, if you're going to be in relationship with people, it must be meaningful. It can't be here today and gone tomorrow. But I am telling you this, Lord Jesus, I was looking at this survey that somebody did. It was a video survey. And the survey asks the question. And it was kind of skewed. Why is it skewed? It was, on, it was aiming at the females. How long it took you to go into bed? One lady said two text messages. One said ten minutes. One said after we said hello. Let me stop right there. Now, the aim of the survey was not to bring down females, no. The aim of the survey was how quick it took people because the lady needed a man, don't it? It was talking about how quick, how short a time for a male and a female, unmarried people, obviously. Between meeting and uh, end up doing what is considered one of the, mo the most sacred thing in marriage that must be between a man and a woman. So what I'm saying to you, don't make no mistake that this minister, Minister Dr. Petrova Davis and all the aunties in this, all of the ministers in Power Faith and your parents, and the people live which part you live. And the teachers that teach you. Make no mistake. We all know what you are faced with. What you could be going through. And maybe what some of you are doing. Make no mistake. 
But it's a time for us to have a, a practical discussion. Why? So that we can help what? One another. Give me a moment, let me launch into the university group a bit. You see the problem they have in the university? It's chron sorry, in the high school? It's chronic in the university. Why? In the high school, you have to go to class. M-U-S-T. When the bell rings, nobody can be on the corridor. Hold on. Even though, shh, even those who have open session have to find themselves to wherever they want to have that open session. Some high school don't have open session. Some high school, as, for, as from the first form, them have open session, meaning you do what you want to do. Some high school are only in the reach, fifth form. They have open session where you do anything you want to do. But some, from the first form, so that they might train you to say, this is a part of school. University, from the day you pay the school fee, is open session. There is no register. Nobody asks you to come to class. You have a, a matter of fact, they, they, they just put up where your class is. Nobody send you. You have to go to the board where well, them start emailing them to and say, oh, my class is here and a map is there for find where the lecture theater is in your first year. Some of you, you went up to the university and you kind of did a walkthrough before and you kind of have an idea. But generally speaking, for most of us, so we turn up, we search for where the class is. They look at the map and say, oh, over there, so the lecture theater there, the lecture theater there, and we find the class. No, there is no register. It's when I got that baptism, I couldn't believe. People in the class, I listen where they want to listen to, and the lecturer teach them the place, you know? Because they tell themselves, eh, at the stroke of 10 o'clock, he just took up his laptop and gone. Nobody can ask him nothing. He say, wait on the tutor. Are you say serious? No, I have the question, the answer. You say, oh, you can make an appointment for me to talk to you. You might try to have about 50 more students in front of you. We have an appointment for me to talk to them about them project and about this and about that. It's when I got that, I said, but well, on the high school was a better rose. In the university, there's no register. It means you can go to the university and you can sit down under the tree. From the day start till the night come. At the university, you may not know this, but those who are going to university, well, I don't know the COVID thing. I'm, I can go up there and check anytime. There is more dance at the university than outside of the street. Every week there's a dance. As a matter of fact, the first dance we went to from, from the commerce department when we just started out. At cast. The first dance. Them say social. Social meaning the whole commerce department is going to come out. Biz department going to come out and meet one another. And everybody program and shake and, and you know and talk. It's when we go there, a couple of shots of play. Somebody say, that I get to me come from. It's not a social this. Clappers are bossing every place. Ba, ba, ba. Me say, I dance this. Me know the difference between a social and dance. And that I go until one o'clock. Mm hmm we testify about this. I don't think I testify like a young lady come to me hot like 10 fire side. And ask me, how am I going home? I say, you know, my Benz. See him Benz, I'm buy eventually. It's in my Benz. I just say, hey. I say, we don't go talk to our friend and say, hey, the boy, the boy, this is a Benz. Come <laughs> I watch them talking and I'm here dead laughing in my corner. And then she come back and say, so what are you leaving? I say, about 10 o'clock. And she say, so where you go so early? I say, at that time, the bus, the Benz bus come out of Papi. <laughs> And they never talk to me again. <laughs> but the point, the point remains what? <laughs> the point I'm trying to make is that we see and know what takes place in a university. There is more dance up there than anywhere else. So when you go to the university, if you think high school ball, it's there you have to put on your what? Head for your body. It's like, a, it's like a dress off. Everybody come hot a man in time. I said, I learned I'm going to learn. Because I don't know the man sit through the makeup there. I don't know how some of the man sit through the tight pants. And everybody just a dress up. But you have to remember why you come there. And you know what? I said this and I opened up the questions again. University people. Nobody not talking about how many people drop out of the university. Can I give you an idea? 
do the maths. UE, UTEC, have many campuses across the island. You didn't know, right? And for them to have a second year, they must be getting enough students out of all the campuses for a second year. For them to have a, year, a third year, they must be getting students out of all the campuses to get what? A third year. You know what I mean? The numbers are going what? Between those who are not able to pay, between those who are dropping off, those two large groups, sometimes when you look at where they start, to the group that leave. But nobody not talking about how many students are drop out. So I'm saying to the university level, and to you, I may not be around to talk to you when you go into that level, that you have to have your head on your back. You know what they do? They laugh at you behind your back. They laugh at your scan. You know who laughs the most, right? The very same friends that we sit with. You start to say, oh, you didn't know so she never had nothing already. And you say, but you didn't help me waste my time. You didn't help me do a look at the eyeglin, don't it? But everybody has to be responsible. Now, I have seen friends I come in, I drop right back into the love thing again. I, don't, I, I pay a love question, I get to know. What do you mean, no? You know why you want to love? It's a love thing, I burn you up. I'm not hungry, love thing, because. All right, let me take the question. Come now. You still have it? You still have the question? Come now. Now, this point, no man, I, 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 I'm going as I go along. This point, this next question, let me give you this one. So the next question that came, what are the do's and don'ts of courting? I think we can skip that one. How to keep a strong relationship? No, how you keep a strong relationship? Somebody said compromise. Honesty. Money. Money. Communication. What else? Loyalty. I mean, you love it. All right, let me, let me ask you a frank question. Can you truly par with somebody where you don't love? No. Virgin, listen good. Can you truly walk with somebody that you don't love? Can you, they, they are being honest, and I'm saying to the friends who are beside them, listen. Come, maybe you really don't understand love. You see my, you see my bridging? Me loving. But I love man. But I love my what? Bridging. Because my bridging, can be a male or female, don't it? But Jamaican say the female are sister. Yeah. But the word of God refer to everybody as brethren. Are you with me? But if I am parring with you, I have to love you. But you see, that is the problem. When you believe that love is making. That is the problem. When you believe that love is going to bed, jump on a sheet, rock stone there in your house. That's what some of you believe in. Uh. Love will hide on the back. And do something, don't it? Love has nothing to do with that. that no, no, that's what I'm coming down to. This is the bump of the story. Because you're telling me that you can't wash. You're telling me you're not walk some of you at least. Walk with somebody. And you not love them? I have to bridge in me. I have to love you. Because it's a check for you. It means that I love you. Where I get that from, minister? The word of God said, if you love, you know God. And if you don't love, you don't know God. For God is? Love. It means that everything that we do for each other, we do it in love, through love, and for love. Everything we do. Right now, Dr. Davis is here. That is love. Because she loves all of you so much 
that she would set aside this time to be here with you. To come through this Saturday after Saturday. She could be at home. She could be doing anything. She could be, she could be putting up her nails and getting them done. And be pampered. But she loved doing this. And she's here. Look at the aunties. So many, if you carry money, come get auntie and say, Auntie, go pamper yourself. Go down to the resort. Or oh, you want to go to, don't it? Then say, Auntie, the world we go. All right, come back to earth. What I'm saying is this. Love is not hugging up. Love is not kissing up. Love is not doing none of those things. But somehow, hold on. Girls, boys, I'm coming to it. Them say, but if we can't do that, you don't love me. Allow me to tell? If we not do that, that means say, you don't love me. No. I find it, I find it so convenient that anytime people don't get what they want, the first thing them say, you don't love me. Am I speaking the truth? Put your hands together, can't show me that. If they ask you and give them, you know the first thing they say, as some know say, you don't love me. It means that no matter what we say, sister, we can't escape the love talk. If we take bus, them say, I rang bus, I go, you don't love me, can you not take my bus? <laughs> All the taxi man, they must say, some of you don't love me a long time. People throw the word love in a everything. And you know what them do it? Them use it for you to feel what? Guilty. They say, oh, you know, love me. And say, no, 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 no. Taking the bus with you or not does not confirm nor deny my love for you, sister. My love for you cannot be confined to a bun and cheese and Pepsi. How would you think that I do not love you, my friend, because I don't allow you to put your hands under my shirt? How could you minimize my love? For you to simply an act of sex. How could that amount to my love? And tell them how wide your love is. And say, if you could go up to Helsha and carry two buckets of sand and spend all day counting it, not even then would you have reached the heights of my love for you. And them that old lyrics, you know. But some of you need some lyrics. Because them are whispering in their ears. And I tell you how to your eyes blue and you know your eye black. <laughs> I like your ear and you know it's not yours. If I take it off, put it down. Eh? My youth, I like how you feel and you know say a long time you have pepper green here, right? Or so. <laughs> I not trouble you. I not trouble you. I say, Minister, pass me, pass me. You know what I'm saying? People say anything to you to try and what? Him? Press you. But it's those who love you. Let me tell you how people love you operate. It's a friend who love you. We see you. No, everything alright with your shoes. But may I use your shoes? Them look on your shoes and see something wrong with your shoes. It's before them laugh, them just stand up in front of you. Why? They don't want nobody to see your shoes. That's how love work. If they look on you and say, hold on there, you're not on your shoes. I'm here already the same size. Me I talk to my mother. Cause one of them shoes they are going missing tomorrow. Come here, carry one. Come give. I cannot have lunch money. And you are my friend. And you not have lunch money. I cannot be successful. I close it now. I cannot be successful in school. No. And you are struggle. Hold on there. Mr. People said they are struggling in math. And the person with them are best friend with. A match brains. I see people who are at the university who are struggling with some paper. Can I admit? One lady has struggled one day, and she has struggled in one room, you know. I'm going to stay some here and say, Bull Panda, try it. She has struggled with one topic, you know, consolidated accounting. I mean, we can answer counsel all asleep. And she has struggled. With a final preparation for exam. I used to come over here, sir. I'm look broke like dog and the room I'm come from. I'm look like my mom beard. She now asked me, you know. 
I mean, I, I can't answer the question where she's having. Because she in the room, she, me in the room, I study by myself. And she come inside here. And like she look for me and say, I'm not nobody. And she said, work out her problem. And from the problem that she's writing on the board, I don't see the questions, you know. But the things that she have on the board, we just work it out and I say, oh, that's for good, so. That's for good, so. I she do a copy of something and she know where they must really go, you know. But in my mind, I kind of solve it and say, oh, so she made a mistake there. And then she just turn around and say, you know anything about accounts? I say, a little. And I say, all right, you have to make this a change and change. And when we don't talk for 15 minutes here, you know, that's a lot to absorb. <laughs> the point I'm trying to make, too many of you are having problems and your friends are good. And the friends will never, ever lend a hand to you. You know what I will say to you? Them kind of friends there, you don't need you must learn to understand love. Love involves sacrifice. Listen to me. I'm getting serious now. Love involves sacrifice. Love involves doing what is best for the one that you say you love. Minister, what do you mean by that? A girl will never tell a boy to do something. Don't feel like a boy is alone. You know? Oh, yes, eh? My wife there, I'm going to talk with caution now. Girls put me on a pressure up a university and ask me, oh, I don't want nobody. I said, no. And I said, something wrong with me. I don't want nobody. I said, let me tell you something, lady. I long me take the come up here. When the come up here, bomb past all of the CXC one time. I little, little me take them. And come up here, and me and study hard. I mean, why you come tell me about say, but if I don't want nobody. Because she said, hi, I'm going to say bye. Because she see my cut pants and she thinks the pants was like a white pants. I wash it, wash out. <laughs> wash the pants, wash out. And a new pants, I wash, wash it out. But you know, the point I'm trying to make, boys come under pressure too. Because girls make a feel like there's something wrong with me. And I want the girls alone. Boys come under pressure too. Mama put my head on my body. And I'm so what happened? I'm saying, you know, girl, I'm saying, no. I tell you that already. I'm saying, no, me, me, I come here for do this. And when I leave here, I am leaving here with this. And I struggle to go through what I went through. I'm not saying it's going to be easy for you. I'm not saying it's going to be easy for you. I am saying you can get it done. I am not telling you that, hold on. I am not telling you that everybody will love you. But I'm telling you that there is somebody who will love you. I'm not telling you that everybody will want to be in your company. No. But you have to learn to keep your own company. I am not telling you that you will pass everything one time. I am telling you that anything you feel, all you have to do is will and come again. And Jamaicans have a saying, it's a one, one coco. And little is much. I am not telling you that you will have all the money in your pocket to buy all the fancy clothes. There are some of you inside here, you could very well be in the same position like me now. Where when you open your closet, it's one shoes. Church, one shoes. Wedding, one shoes. School, one shoes. And anyway, I go funeral is one shoe. It could, you, you could be in that position. But it doesn't define you. It doesn't, it doesn't mean that this is it. And girls and boys, young men, young women, you cannot lose sight of hope. If I have two more minutes, because your friend lose hope. Can I say that? I was supposed to have made this point and I'll delay it. You cannot lose hope because your friend lose hope. Some of us have friends who say, nobody can't pass this. And because they are deciding to give up or have given up, they then encourage you to do what? The same. I know I said it in a different context earlier about those giving up their virginity and so on forth and so forth. But I just want to make it more wider. It has nothing to do with just the girls. It has to do with everybody. 
to say some people will discourage you to the T. Some boys will never take something serious and some girl will never see it your way. But I pray that you will have the discernment. You will have the faith. You will have the commitment. You will learn the difference between what is right and what is wrong. You will learn the difference between what is good and what is bad. And live and speak and move with the fear of God. I thank you very much for the day.